They say life on the farm is hard but honest work. But in common ground world, we farm for a greater cause. Saving the planet one soil patch at a time. Build an eco-friendly town, leveraging regenerative agriculture and recover valuable soil. Compete in weekly competitions to earn great prizes. Get rewarded for helping to support our ecosystem and your fellow farmers. Eager to learn more? Well, head on over to Gala Games and start playing now. Hello, everybody. Hey. How's it going, everyone? We're going to be here playing Common Ground World, and here we have Farmer Michelle. How are you today, Farmer Michelle? Good. How are you? Good. Are you going to show me some cool things? I see Let's Common Ground World has changed quite a bit. Yeah, we've had a lot of changes over the last... A uh, year and a half, probably. I mean, we relaunched the game on a new game engine in May. That made it a lot more secure, so that there was a lot less cheating. It's a much more stable game now than it used to be. We've still got some work to do on server stability, but it's a lot closer than than it was even in May when we launched it. So we're making some big progress. That's awesome. Because usually, guys, you do like uh, the uh, town hall. Is it town hall? Yep, town hall every Friday. Friday. But no one ever plays the game, so we get to play, see the game. Yes, we do. And for all of these of you who are watching, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Show us some love. Thank Michelle for coming here. <laughs> it's a great way to spend an evening. Right? Okay, show me what you're supposed to be like doing if you're starting fresh here. <laughs> Yeah, this is a brand new town. This is actually going to be next week's town, so no one in the public has seen it yet, but here it is. We're in the staging servers, so it's uh, preset for next week's competition. So here's a big leak for everybody who's watching. Uh, the first things we usually have to do is set up gasoline. We probably can't do that yet because we don't have enough money to build any type of gasoline setup. We do have a nice oil seat, though, so that's going to come in handy in a minute. Let me make everybody walk faster. Get our auto trade set up. Awesome. I'm going to get rid of this tree depot and put down an NFT depot because it's easier. I believe the cash boosted items for next week are silver and jam. We're just going to go straight into silver rush because we've already got these silver ores going. So does it change every week? Yeah, we try to keep it different every week so that it's more fun and varied in what we're building. Uh, usually the metas are similar for a couple weeks in a row, and then we'll switch it up to something totally different. Like we did uh, Valentine's Day cards this week, and we did red envelopes for the Lunar New Year last week. They were pretty similar. They both used eco paper made from bamboo, which was fun. There's bamboo now going back to jewelry. There, there is bamboo. Yeah, we've been adding a lot of stuff. We had uh, coffee a couple weeks ago. That was a lot of fun, too. People really liked I saw, coffee. I saw the coffee one. I was like, that's so cool. They had the barista. It was cute. Yep. Yep. And the community knows we've got some new other liquids coming out soon, which I'm not going to leak here on this stream, but we'll talk about soon, I imagine. Those are going to be fun also. I'm pretty excited to get those new liquids into the game. Here, if I've got a forge, nice. Mm 
Oh, I got some comments here in the chat saying, oh, I could have ch changed the movement speed for everything. See, <laughs> not in the public servers, you can't. <laughs> this is what this is just a test server. Where you can cheat. This is where I like to play because I just like to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is QA's build. We can make That's it even faster. It's fun in the in the cheating, like when you get to build the game, right? You get to test it out and not play for real in real time. I don't know. I think that it definitely makes it easier for the QA team to test the game because then they can just run through like three days worth of town simulations super fast and make sure everything I, is working properly. I have been on the QA end of it, and I feel like sometimes it ruins the game. That's why you don't go back sometimes because you you learn how to cheat it so far, and then to play it, it's kind of sometimes not the same. Yeah, Especially that'll happen. For waiting for time. The time ones. Like you get to skip three days and you have to boom, you're done. Let's see. Let's see what other NFTs I got here. I think I've got Quick Builder. Nice. These NFTs come in handy so much. Uh, I don't cheat in poker. I'm actually a good poker player. You can't cheat in poker. I don't think I, they, they won't let me do that. <laughs> I'm terrible I at poker. Do. I have the worst poker face in the entire world. That's why we, we play off screen. Because if I was on screen, I don't think I'd be playing that well. <laughs> yes, I do cheat in Tweety quite a bit. It's pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> I also like drop walkers everywhere and crash it. So I do bad things too. Just <laughs> crashing the game, just giving yourself too much stuff. I've done that in Common Ground World before. <laughs> I think everybody's broke Common Ground World a couple times, especially in QA. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get ourselves set up for gasoline. So for a new player, what's the best NFT to get you help, help you get started? There's a lot of good ones out there. I think if I were just starting and going to get an NFT, it would probably be one of the, like the Haunted Graveyard or the Haunted Crypt or the Haunted West or East Wing. They give you that passive crude oil, so you don't need the oil seep, which really saves a lot of time when uh, starting up and making gasoline. There's a lot of other good startup ones, like the Spooky Windmill. I use the Spooky Windmill every week when I start my game. I usually rush butter because I have a bakery NFT. And you can just plop down those spooky windmills and they walk really fast. You don't have to worry about trying to build them. And as long as you're growing sugar cane and you're good to go, you jump right into sugar. Water NFTs are also a great starter NFT because sometimes like this week, there's no water edges and those copper panning sites and silver panning sites are gonna need water. So are the trees, which we should probably build some of somewhere. Let's put some back here. Someone's asking, is that the gold plan planner? Panner? The panning sites here are silver. They'll all be silver this week because silver is gonna be the cash boosted item. No bony chill. I only cheat during the playtest, not not on the real game. That's live. There's no cheating in live. Nope. I've asked. I've asked many times and they said no. Thank you. 
that a mini fountain I see? It is. It's an alpha fountain majestic. It gives five passive water, which is exactly what a tree needs. Build these lumberjacks a nice little road and then we'll build some lumberjacks. Is panning the most optimal way to start non non NFTs? Is that what this is? Murphy Gray ass? This week, yes, because just because the silver is boosted, but it'll really depend on whatever is cash boosted for the week. So if it's like wool, then sheep will be your best option. If it's sugar, then using windmills to get sugar will be your best option. It'll vary from week to week. You just kind of have to look at the meta information, read the announcements, and find out what's cash boosted. We do also have the pop-ups in game now that I'll tell you what's boosted and stuff. So for New Year's, is there like a intro how to play? There's a lot of videos from the community that are great for that. We don't have any like official ones. Uh, we don't have any real guides or anything. There is, if you've just made a brand new account and you're starting playing for the first time, there's like a walkthrough the first time you make a town that'll show you how to make gas and what you need and let you know like how to sell and how to set up auto trade and all that. But if it's not a brand new account, you won't get all of that uh, first time guides. And we also have a really great community if you join our Discord, galagames.chat. Yep, you can ask whatever you want in the, in the chat. The community is great at helping. And I'm in there most of the time. I think you're always in there. I do sleep on occasion. The naps. Your <laughs> real quick power naps here and there. Right back to Discord. Sometimes you just need that quick power nap and that's all you need. And then some days you just sleep straight through. Mm -mm, that's probably not what I want to do. I need to make things bigger. Yes. All right, so we're going to need some lumber. That way we can get some paved roads. I apply my skins while I'm at it. Tried to find as many applicable ghost cards as I could in blueprints earlier today. I think I found most of the ones that I wanted. What is this blueprint epic bulky? Can we go through some of these things after? Yeah. These are all new to me. I'm like, can you slow down? <laughs> but I'm just waiting these until the... you so we can look at everything. <laughs> Please. These are the blueprints that we give out during the, the events. Uh, we used to give them every week. Now we give them once a month. It's usually on the third week of the month, but sometimes it might vary depending on what the event meta is and when we want to give them out so that they kind of apply to the next ones. Um, they, but they come in different rarities. You get like a lower rarity if you land lower on the leaderboard and you get a higher one if you land higher on the leaderboard. Uh, it'll tell you the description. Click on the little eye in the corner. Like this one, this luxury crafty copper panning site just boosts the speed of the copper panning site itself by 25% when it's applied. So they definitely come in handy. Um, in order to get the uncommon ones in the events, you just have to sell 100 of whatever the meta item might be. You don't even have to really rank above 1200, which is where the gala rewards start. So even if you don't think you're good enough to rank amongst the gala rewards, Still give it a try and play because even an uncommon blueprint will help boost you. And if you collect enough of them, uh, they'll help every week. I think next week is an event that's got a blueprint. 
if I'm not mistaken, and I believe that's for the glass factory. So that'll boost the speed of the glass factory workers, and that'll come in handy when we move on to those new liquids that I can't tell you about yet. <laughs> so what are you leaking today? Well, we've already got this one since everybody's seen what next week's town looks like, which they usually leak a small picture of on Wednesday and then a full town on Friday. So they got a full day early t this week. And most people should already know that next week's meta is bracelets because I posted it and it's in the pins. There's a whole schedule in there. What kind of bracelets can you make? They're just copper and silver bracelets. They're made from silver jump rings and copper jump rings, which are made from silver wire and copper wire. Hopefully, if we speed through this town fast enough, we can get some made. Let's get rid of this. Well, we don't need that. Yeah, tell us about the liquids. What all of the liquids are they? <laughs> I can't tell you that. <laughs> I tried. I You'll tried. find out in like two, three weeks. There'll be a new building uh, that comes with a new unit. And they'll be making two or a different three kind weeks. Of I thought this was going to be like a leak till like, you know, you're holding off till Friday or something. Two or three weeks. Maybe, maybe Friday we'll talk about it. We'll see how much leaks are left since these leaks have already been given out. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I guess it depends on who all shows up at the town hall. Murphy Gray, are you using a controller? No, I don't think she's using a controller. No. Board. All PC. Mouse. Keyboard and mouse, yeah. if we can collect some wood here. Oh, they always look so much slower when you slow them back down to regular time. Yeah, I was going to say, why are they still slow now? So slow. They were, like, running. And the trees were, like, popping up and down really fast. Like those, um, when you play the go uh, groundhog game. lock a mole Thanks, good Paul. Thank you, good Paul. <laughs> I don't even see my lumberjacks. They're the walking lumberjack. real slow. They just went to take a nap. They're going back to work now. So who is your favorite character in Common Ground World? My favorite character? I feel like I got asked this when I did my Galaxian highlight right when I first got hired. What did I say? I believe that at that time, which is probably still true, I said that my favorite Common Ground World character was a water facility worker because they take dirty water from the pond and neaten it up and put it into a nice little package for everybody. Which I guess is kind of what I feel like I do with being the Towstar Bard. So I try to take as much information as I can and package it neatly and send it out to the community. So we'll go with that water facility worker. And Anita asked, what is your favorite NFT to use in the game? Hmm. That's a tough one. There's so many NFTs. I feel like 
The one I use most often is probably my Haunted West Wing, just because it makes gasoline so much easier. Though I've got one of those rare gasoline refineries also, which does come in handy because then you don't need any petroleum. You just skip petroleum and go straight to making gasoline from crude oil, which makes it take, e take up even less space. Smiling monster keeps talking about a dragon. I do not have a dragon here. If I had one, I would for sure be using it. What does the dragon do? Does it not fly? Yes, it's like a trade depot, but it sells by 25 instead of instead of just by a 10 like the regular trade depots do. And you have to have all 10 of the dragon vouchers in order to get one. It's not an NFT itself. It just kind of appears in your inventory if you've got all 10 of the dragon vouchers. It'll also give you a dragon in Miranda, as far as I know. Murphy Gray asks, how long have you been with Gala, Michelle? I think it's been almost two, two and a half years now. Yeah, probably. It's been a while. Probably just over two years. Before that, I was a community moderator for a long time. LV Postman, are you just messing around or are you trying to build a decent town? I think this is your startup town, correct? You're just starting it up? To build yeah, somewhere. I'm gonna try to get to bracelets. We'll see if I can make it to bracelets. We're gonna slow it down here through gasoline setup, make sure I can get wood and lumber going. It's hard to tell sometimes when it's working super fast because everybody's just running around like crazy little, crazy little creatures. I can't promise that'll be the best build in the world. I certainly didn't make any plans. But we're gonna do our best. But this is what you would do if you were to start anyways, right? Yeah, most of the time. I don't usually like pre-plan my builds out. I know a lot of people use, uh, there's like some community like builders that you can use to pre-lay out your town to like check how the shade is going to affect things and where your pollution is going to go. And those definitely come in handy. I just like to wing it. I think it's more fun that way. <laughs> We're going to run out of gas real soon if we don't get some lumber. <laughs> Woodshed's full.
Hatchet Hank. You guys even changed all the names. Hatchet Hank is just an NFT. It's not the actual logger that's in the game. Okay, I was like, Hatchet Hank? I've never seen this one before. <laughs> Can you start showing off your NFTs? What NFTs are there in, in this version that you get to play right now? Uh, I tried to put the ones that were kind of relevant to what I was planning on building, and then I think there's just a couple of other ones in there from other things that I've tested before. Whoa, whoa, can you go back? I just saw a really cool looking um, yeah. windmill there. Windmill. It was like ancient, I saw that. It was purple, where did it go? There I you go. I don't think I have any windmills. I saw an ancient gutsy windmill. I saw it. Probably here. Mama Planner, Rose and Lily. These are all new to me. Yeah, have a gusty wind blueprint. It speeds go. up the speed of your windmill. That's cool looking. Yeah, the ghost cards and the blueprints are really nice. They really do come in handy. Ooh. See, I wouldn't have seen that in my, what if I opened my game. Why are we not collecting wood? We don't want too much. There go all of our lumberjacks. You made them run too much that they went into hiding. Yeah, they must have been tired. They're good now, though. They went to deep sleep. <laughs> These quick builders come in handy too. They're so much faster than the regular in-game builder who is very slow. So fast. It's fun to watch when they run really fast. Yeah. Can you zoom in? Can you can you zoom in on this one? Can you see them? <laughs> run. so fast. Got too much lumber and not enough wood. You're almost out of gas. I know. We're fighting the battle. We'll get this gas lean set up before they run out of gas. I hope.
I also need as an industrial worker though. storage. <laughs> Kinda get close. Almost no gas. Oh, man. The good part is you have some money, so... I definitely have money. You can still pay your workers. Yeah, you don't want to run out of gasoline and money. Then you gotta, like, sell buildings. Let's build another Tesla coil. Energy faster. Oh, we see that Miranda skin warehouse. Yeah, they look nice. So cute looking. Oh, I see that you sped them up again. I did, and we made it to gasoline before we ran out of gas. Two gas to spare. Beautiful. This one is the epic gasoline refinery, so it needs less energy than a normal gasoline refinery. And it doesn't need petroleum, so you can skip the petroleum. Go straight from crude oil. And I've got the oil seep right here behind it. So it's basically just getting everything passive. All right. You know, I always wanted to like be able to click on other people's on the leaderboard just to see what their build looked like. I know there's plans in the future to have it so that people can share their town link if they'd like to, but it won't be forced because some people don't want to share their town link, which is understandable. I mean, it is a competitive game, so. I've seen a few people's builds where they, the ones that they share, I'm like, that looks cool. Because some, I don't know how to play Common Ground World as well as you do. I don't know all the rules every week. I would be still building sugar every week <laughs> for my own. Well, don't do that. <laughs> there we go. Move this one now. All right. Now we've got gasoline set up going. And we've got silver. Lots of wood that we don't need. He's back on. Get that guy out of there. <laughs> All right, now we need to get some copper. Probably some more panners first.
Let's put some punk houses. And the panner bunk houses have two panners versus one panner, which really comes in handy. So the little cloud, is that the sh like shade? When you click on the, to build the house? There was a little cloud. Oh, the yes. Mouse. Yeah, so when you drag it around, it'll tell you what the proximity effects are for wherever you are in the map. Like here, there's six shade and one water. If you go back here, there's one shade and seven water. Probably got some dirty down this way. Yep, back here we've got what's that? We got four dirty, five shade, three energy, one water, one water drum. And whatever that first one is, which must be... I don't know. It's been a while since I've looked at them. My vision is too bad to tell. Ah, yes, crude oil. Now That's so helpful. It. it does come in handy. It makes it easier to tell where you want to place things. It's also good because mm -hmm. now that we've got this subgrid placement, so you can place things kind of on tiles or kind of off of tiles. You can almost like place more stuff around. Like if you have a wheat stand and you want to do more feed mills, you can put four on each side instead of three, and they'll still get one passive wheat if it's a regular one, because you can offset them just enough. So there's definitely different strategies behind it. You can do the same thing with roads. You can place like one road and place multiple buildings on one tile of road. All right, let's put some copper sites here. You're gonna need more workers. Oh no, never mind. You built those houses. Yeah, I built a couple. I'm gonna build some more in a second though. Because we're definitely gonna need more panners. I don't want to run out of money though. I've only got hundred and thirty three thousand dollars left. How much is your current employment at? Is that I can't uh, see it. My my wages are one thousand eight hundred and thirty five per minute. Well, you're okay. Which is pretty high. Still We're definitely it. sustaining. Mm -hmm. What's this gem I see that's red in the corner? Uh, there was a plan to add gems to the game. I don't believe that we're adding gems now, but we haven't had the, the heads-up display fixed yet. Um, we're getting a whole new UI for it at some point. So for now, that's still there. Uh, but there won't be gems. I imagine that this will change over to dirt or whatever the new currency will be. Probably It'll probably stick with dirt, the soft currency. Once we get that tokenomics and light paper all sorted out and all that gets settled, then we can focus on what kinds of stuff we want to have in the heads-up display. But at some point, you'll be able to spend those things in-game. I mean, there'll also be, like, components, which I'm not sure exactly what there will be for components yet, but there will be, like, components and materials needed to, to upgrade your NFTs, so those might be somewhere in the heads-up display also. I imagine that kind of stuff will go live sometime around the end of the year, quarter three, maybe. In the right-hand corner there, is that the dirt you've made? Yeah, that's how many points I've got so far this game. They used to be stars, and now they're this little flower figure. Though I think we all still call them stars just out of habit, because that's what they used to be. It kind of looks like that's a star. That's how many points we've got. It looks like a star I with think, petals. Yeah, I think it's some kind of plant. <laughs> Ooh, 
to build some more forges. Copper ore. Let's see if I've got any ore storages. Ew. A silver one too. Nice. Are there hot keys for rotating the game? Yes. I should just be the arrows on the keyboard. Maybe it's, let's slide around. I don't have it pulled up in front of me, so I don't know what the list is. Uh, it is pinned in the discord though. And then I'll list you all the different shortcut keys. I know we've got some for opening the trade depot. There's some for opening the store. There's some for opening the NFT inventory. We've got them for scrolling around. I'm pretty sure they're there for rotating. It might be, no, it's not that one either. I just don't remember them off the top of my head. I always just use my mouse. We definitely could use some more hotkeys and like a favorites for the NFT inventory would be awesome. I know the community has been asking for that for a long time. Well, it's so hard to manage this town when it's moving so fast. Let's see. Uh, I'm saying this really wrong, but Sergio Santiago, the reason why the game is so fast right now and yours is so slow is because Bar Michelle is playing a special version of the game that only we get to play. <laughs> yeah, this is the test environment that QA uses to test everything. We wanted to try to get as far into a build as possible, so we're playing on fast speed. And are there any plans on no NFT competitions yet? Not that I'm aware of. Uh, like the way with the way that tokenomics and everything works, the you know the NFT sales and all that do go to fund some of the rewards. So it's kind of it doesn't really make a lot of sense to not allow people to use those NFTs when they buy them to win the rewards that the NFT cost goes for, like logically. Uh, there may be some in the future. I know we talked about maybe running some every once in a while, but I wouldn't, it's probably not going to be a, rant, uh, a regular occurrence if it does happen. I could see them maybe running for NFT rewards, but probably not for any type of like a token currency as a reward. It would be nice if there were like different leagues of play. Also, I think that would be really cool because I know it is hard to compete with those top players every week. And some of those people have been playing for three, four years. There we I go. think we need to make now. it. Nuke it. Why would we do that? No. <laughs> Everyone keeps commenting on the speed. <laughs> It's definitely fast. It's very hard to manage when it's going this fast. The speed is not normal. We're just showing you a preview of the game. Of what we see. Of what Michelle sees daily. Slow it back down. There we go. Back to normal speed. All right, 
let's start planning ahead here. Um, starting to gather some copper and silver. That's good. I don't want to remove that yet. I'm going to need a wire mill next. Those are very expensive. Don't keep it fast, so we're never going to finish. Just speed it up. <laughs> Just speed it up. <laughs> Show them the cool stuff. We didn't we gotta see, get to bracelets. How's that? Do you build the building? Now or? they're zooming. Ooh. Oh, it has a night and day schedule cycle now? Yes. That's cool. Yep, it's been toned yeah. down from when we first launched the night and day, because it was a little bit too too dark and too bright. But it's much better now. Do you guys still have theme seasons? Like winter? We didn't do one for fall or winter this year. Last year we did do... I believe we did orange for winter, which was very orange. Or orange for fall, and then we did winter. But we didn't do them this year. I liked when they had the snow theme. Yeah, the snow one was really pretty. All the buildings had the lights on them, like Christmas lights. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure we'll get back to that. This year, our priorities were more making sure that the, the game was stable since we had just relaunched on the new game engine. We just wanted to make sure that it ran properly before we started adding all that fun stuff like that. There we go. We're getting some money now. Now I need to decide where I want to put my wire mills. I'm not going to want those next to each other. In case you all didn't know, there's plenty of information in here in the little eyes. If you're ever looking for information about a building, it'll let you know what it crafts, what the craft time is, what it's affected by. So there is a lot of handy information right there inside the game, if you know where to look for it. Subsep Rod said that there would be a cool idea to have two players work together in the same town, half the town for each player. That would be really cool. I'm not sure how we would do that, but it does sound really cool. It would be hard to have two accounts linked to the same one town. 
It'd be a question for Volcron, though. I'm sure he could figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's not easy to have multiple accounts linked up to one town. I'll stop that. <laughs> well, we're gonna need a jewelry storage too. silver and copper. You have so much lumber. Yeah, I really don't need any lumber for now. It's fine. We'll just let it go. What do you need to build next? I need more forges because we don't have enough silver or copper to make wires fast enough. And we need more wires so that we can make jump rings. And then we've got to make some lobster clasps. And then we can make bracelets. We can't do that because these buildings are so expensive. Yeah, we're getting closer though. Super expensive. Looks right. like we're stuck. We're gonna have to reload it again. That's the problem. QA builds. <clears throat> and running it super fast. I told you when you speed them up, you tire them out. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Thank Michelle for showing us the ropes. Join our Discord, galagames.chat. Definitely come hang out on the Discord. It's a fun place to be. <laughs> so much wire. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, they're still running. Yeah, I sped it up again. I didn't even see you too, and how fast? That was quick. It's hard to even tell what's balanced and not balanced when it's moving this fast. Definitely got copper ore. Just built more silver ore. We got a lot of wires now. Let's build some jewelry crafting tables. Closer. Silver jump rings. Silver jump rings. Gonna build another wire mill because I know we need more silver wire than copper wire. But it looks like we've already got more. We need more workers. We might. Let's see. Well, all the panning sites are getting harvested, so we must be doing okay on workers for now. in our ore storages. It's like we still need more silver ore. Let's build some more silver ore then. need to buy a foundry, but we just don't have enough money yet. How much do you need for a foundry? I think it's, it's like 1.5 million. Yeah. We're getting there. Do you have a jewelry stuff. crafting table yet? Do we need I it? I have a couple of Trinity gem works down, which is the NFT version of it. So, yes. Let's get rid of those. Stop selling silver. <laughs> Might need another truck. So hard to keep track of when they're moving so fast. I gotta speed it up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
stop making copper wire then. Let's, get, let's turn this one off. And turn this one off. We'll get some copper. Finish building these last wire mills. Will we make it in time? I hope so. What time is it? I feel like maybe one of the workers went to sleep for too long. <laughs> what else can we sell for cash? That lumber. lumber that we don't need. Yeah, lumber. Probably get rid of some of this wood. Well, we have the lumber farm not making any lumber. It's sleeping. Not anymore, it's not. Yeah. So if you sell the lumber over the wood, you'll make more. Yes. We've got a lot of wood in this woodshed. We have some workers sleeping, not doing anything. I have too many workers. Oh, these are the ones I just built. Oh, okay. I have these wire mills I turned off so we could get copper, which we have now, so I can start making copper wire again. This copper is a building requirement for the wire mill. It's new forges. Oh. Just a reminder for everybody who's watching, this is the sped up version of it. It's not the production version of the live game. This We're trying to get to bracelets as fast as possible. We're just trying to show you show the game off in the cool way. <laughs> the speed version. Everybody run. Well, they're definitely running. <laughs> None of them are crashing into each other. No, nah, they're very carefully deciding where to walk so that they don't crash. Yeah, They know what they're doing. I trust them. If you ever, like, zoom in, they actually walk around each other. <laughs> Can't even tell they're moving so fast. A little dance right there. Dance party! <laughs> Need more forges. definitely not the most efficient way to place everything. I would not use this as your competition build. You're just winging it right now, aren't you? Yeah. I know I need this much, and I'm just going to throw it here. And here. I'll figure it out later. It just works out that way, because like, if you clear everything and then you just might not have enough cash left. 
to build it the way you want to. Don't need this extra warehouse. Two warehouses is probably good. Don't need as many quick builders as we've got. <sighs> Try to cut down on our wages to save some money here. That. Yeah, I used to fire my um, express depots when they weren't doing anything. And builders if I wasn't building anymore. Yeah, make sure to get rid of that kind of stuff. Otherwise, it'll just eat up your wages. Your workers gotta be efficient. None of them can be sleeping. <laughs> so yeah, I've got too many panners also. Some of them are sleeping. Farmer Michelle takes naps. Just kidding. <laughs> they do come in handy. Just quick naps, though. making more silver now yeah i'm gonna build some more panning sites as well Oops. We're gonna have to let it run for a while and try to gather some money. So, what other games do you play? In my free time? Yeah. Let's see. Lately, I've been playing mostly Dead by Daylight and Fortnite. You do not want to run into me on Fortnite. Do you just kill everybody? I mean, that's the whole point, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever played Fortnite. You played it once. I played time. it once, like, a, like five years ago, and I joined into a random voice chat, and it was like a bunch of children. I was like, I'm never playing this game again. And then I just recently picked it back up as an adult. And found other adults who play to play with, which makes it more fun. I played it one time. I kept dying. I mean, That'll happen. Yeah. I just kept You're dying. You're bound to die almost every single time you play, if not every single time. 
Like, I usually die in the first five minutes of playing any game. <laughs> I was playing Power World, and then I just fell off the cliff, and then just died because I drowned. I have that one downloaded, but I haven't started yet. I need to find some time and get in there and play it. Fun. It looks like a lot of fun. Once you get past the tutorial and like get the hang of it, it's pretty fun. <laughs> I used to play a lot of Valheim as well, but I haven't been playing that as much lately. What's your all-time favorite game? Out of like all of the games that I've ever played in my entire life. Um, what game would you go back to? Or what game, actually what game that's old that you missed that you would wish that would come back? Hmm. I don't know, I mean, I like to play Minesweeper a lot. I know not a lot of people play Minesweeper anymore. I don't even know if it comes standard on Windows computers anymore, but. I play it really just if I'm on an airplane and I need to be on airplane mode. But, but I will play that for hours and hours. I don't think anyone else really plays Minesweeper anymore. I used to play it's it when a fun I was younger. It's, it is. I didn't understand it when I was younger, but when I, as I got older and I understood the rules, it was such a good brain teaser to play. Yeah, it's all like pattern recognition. Yeah. Yeah, I like, like Minesweeper almost, a lot. Like, played it. I think Minesweeper is almost equivalent to Sudoku. Yeah. The like electric version yeah, I like of Sudoku it. puzzles a lot. Yeah. I'm good at math puzzles. Not so great at, like, crossword puzzles. But I can no. do math puzzles. I can do numbers, not words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always like the puzzle games. The ones that make you think. Yeah. But there's nothing wrong with sitting back and playing a good round of Mario Kart. Oh, yeah. For sure. There's Mario no thinking Kart. involved there. Just left and right. Make sure you don't go backwards and don't crash. Some of your things aren't getting built. You have no more wood. Did you fire all your lumberjacks? I do think I got rid of all of my builders. Well, I've got one builder still. There's probably just no wood then. Nope, no wood. There's no wood. Let's stop Is, are you still then. selling all the wood? I think I'm selling lumber, but not wood. All the wood's probably going to the lumber mill. For some reason, it's uh. not selling copper wire. I don't know why. We go. We're getting some money now. Something's not happening properly. <laughs> I must not have never built a two stars. I did, but it's not storing anything. That's so hard to play this fast. Builders. 
Who's Rose and Lily? They're part of the Panner family of NFTs. Oh, let me see if I can find what it is exactly they do. They work 50% faster than the in-game panners, and when they're paired with the mama panner, which I also have down, that it makes all the panners in town work 50% faster. Mm -hmm. Special NFTs to make it faster and work on speed. Yeah. They definitely come in handy. Speed boosting is one of the few mechanics that we have that we can play around with with NFTs. Murphy Gray asks, have the team thought about releasing an NFT starter pack for Town Star? Yes, we actually talked about that, I think, three weeks ago on a town hall. So, yes. I'm not sure exactly what's going to be in it yet. I think that we had asked for feedback and suggestions from the community right there during that town hall, and our, our uh, head product manager is looking at getting that figured out. But there definitely will be starter packs. So it's in the works, Murphy Gray. Yep, 100%. Bony Chill asks, have you really played any WoW back in the day? Did I play any WoW? No. No, I did not. Somehow I managed to miss that one. Which is surprising. Same with the uh, Minecraft and RuneScape. Never played any of those games. I don't know why. I'm sure I would have enjoyed them. It was probably when I was in college. I wasn't really playing any video games when I was in college. Going chill, Bomberman is a good game. Have you tried the newest, latest one? Bomberman, no. Oh, man. I do think I played an older version of it, though. But it would have been a while ago. These days, my heart is devoted to Common Ground World. Oh, my favorite game, Bony Chill, was um, Lemmings. But they don't, I don't know make what that it. is. It's a really old game. It's like little little dudes with green hair, and you have to like figure out how to make it to the other side of the map without killing any of them. And then they, some of them would have like special powers where they would like build a bridge with yarn, and then you can like go across it. Nice. Yeah. So I've always wanted someone to make modern day lemmings. That'd be great. <laughs> Whoever knows. The maker of lemmings. Tell them to come to Gala and build it. If I knew how to develop games, I would do it for you, but I do not. I'm just a bard. Brent, you said that you made it. Um, why are you holding out? Please, let me play this game. I need 1.5 million to build a foundry. We're getting close. Murphy Gray, I've been with Gala for 
two and a half years, just a little bit before Farmer Michelle started. Yeah, Brent, you gotta send me this Penguins game. I need to play it. I need to play Penguins if it's like Lemmings. And if you made it, you can remake it into little tinies. And then you can make a new I can make a new game with purple hair. <laughs> you can have to reload this again. It looks like our jump rings are not getting stored anywhere. Oh no. Oh, but we have a million dollars. We made it to a million. I know, we're so close. Millions, you guys. We made it to the millions. Alright, let's reload this one more time. It'll be our last reload. And then we make the bracelets. Hopefully. Pretty impressive to get to bracelets in whatever it is, like an hour and a half, hour and a half. It's not terrible. It would have been harder to play any faster speed. But it was already it was tough already on speeding it, not slowing it down. Yeah. So how long do you think it would have been if you actually had to do it normal speed? I imagine it would take probably a full day to make a bracelet build depending on how many nfts you have probably anywhere from like 20 to 40 hours but a lot of that is just kind of sitting around and waiting There they go. Oh. Off to the races. Alright, let's build this foundry. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably need two of them. One will work, though. Yes, Murphy Gray, if you mess up, it does set you back hours. I remember when I used to it run out of gas. Definitely can. Running out of gas is the worst. Yeah, like we said earlier, if you run out of gas and money to pay your wages, you just have to nuke your town. Not good. Yeah. Unless you've you got really the full don't. town built and you can destroy buildings and get some money back. But if you don't, you pretty much got to start over. Those first few hours are very important. <laughs> We're getting close. Copper. 
Right. Need more wood. No, we don't need more wood. We're definitely good on wood. Five more copper. And then you almost have enough to build another one. Yeah, we're getting close. Copper. Maybe we should turn off this copper wire though. It's a fun looking town. There's a lot going on. Yeah. Definitely not the most efficient layout. Some of those forge workers are walking really far to get to the ore storages. It probably would have been better if I put the ore storages somewhere around here, more centralized to where the panning sites and the forges all are. Which wouldn't really be yeah. hard to do. I could move them. But like, you already built it where it's built because that's where it worked in the beginning. That's a good thing with NFTs also, is you can just pick them up and put them down. No building requirements needed. Not at all. Let's move that. Let's get a copper ore storage in here. Right, now they're more centrally located. Now it's going to be somewhat efficient. It'll definitely be better than it was. Let's get rid of this one. Down. Oh, our foundry's done. Now we can make sterling silver. <sighs> Almost. Yeah, if we can get one more foundry built, that'll make those sterling silver jump rings and then then we'll be set because i've already got these other jewelry crafting tables ready to use them to make the lobster clasps and then we'll just need the one more jewelry crafting table to make the bracelets i've got another nft version still get it right there ready See, ideally, if I was making this to try to be super efficient, I would have laid it out so that my foundries were in the middle of my forges, because they speed up the forges that are around them. So if you're planning on building this next week, put your forges around your foundry. Because next week's competition is bracelets? Yes. So let's see what you need. You need panners, you need forges, forges, jewelry makers. Yep. Um, what am I missing? Uh, just the copper and the silver panning sites. There's no gold or anything for the bracelets. So that's good. It's only the two different ores. Uh, you'll definitely need lumber mills for building. And you'll need extra wood if you don't have green forges. Because the, the regular in-game forges need wood with every... Uh, to make every copper or silver. The green forges don't need any wood because they're green. Um, Murphy Gray, who's the worst gamer in Gala Red? Um, I, I have no idea. 
it would probably depend on the game. I mean, we all love games, but there's so many different kinds of games. It's hard to even say who's like the worst or the best. Everybody's good at what, what they're good at. Yeah. Like, that's a hard question to ask or for us to answer. We don't know. Yeah, I definitely don't know. And it doesn't matter anyway. We all love games. That's what matters. I could tell you that if you play with Anita, she'll get lost in the game. <laughs> She's not here to defend herself, but she gets lost. Well, I know for sure that when I'm playing games like Valheim, I will go out and wander and get lost and die somewhere. And then have to call in a search party and call in the other CMs, call in Neff and Doug Sunny to come help me find my body in Valheim because I don't know where I lost it. Which has happened many times. I can tell you Neff is, um... He's mischievous in games. <laughs> <laughs> He'll build a home under your home. A secret one that you don't know about. <laughs> He did wonders on my Valheim server. I had it up for a few days and then I never put it up again because I had stopped playing for a while. But he came in and built this like whole mountain side house with a nice little, I don't know, it was a nice little house. It was way better than the house that I built. All right, let's build another foundry. Do you guys have food competitions? In Common Ground World? Yeah. Yeah, we have, uh, for food items, we've got lasagna, we've got pizza, there's a four cheese pizza and a shrimp pizza. We've got lots of baked goods, like cake. We've got three different kinds of cake. We've got a regular cake, a decorated cake, and a fancy cake, because who doesn't love cake? I love cake. <laughs> I wish we had an ice cream cake. I'm going to remember that. I will make sure that we get an ice cream cake at some point. What else do we have for food? We've got all, oh, we got sushi. So there's Ooh. some, yep, yeah, we've got some uh, salmon nigiri. We've got sushi boats. We've got eel nigiri. Or however it's pronounced. I apologize for pronouncing it incorrectly. You're making me hungry, talk, listing off all this food. I thought there was only just chocolate and. That's it. No, nope, we've got quite a variety of food now. Uh, we did pies in the fall, so we added apple pie and there's another pie, I think. We always had pumpkin pie and we added apple pie. Have you ever tried making a pie yourself? Does cheesecake count? Yeah. Then yes. Do you like the good old, like, New York style cheesecake? Yes. With nothing else on top and just strawberries, or what's your favorite topping on your New York style cheesecake? Banana. Mm -hmm. Just plain banana? Do you put like Nutella and or peanut butter on top as well? Or no? Nutella and banana is delicious. I would definitely eat Nutella and banana on top of a piece of cheesecake. Or like get the Biscoff spread and melt it down and just like a little bit. Mm. Now you're making me hungry and I haven't had dinner yet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's almost dinner. This is where my mind is feeling. It's food. It's all food. <laughs> always food in my mind luckily i ate lunch right before this so that i wouldn't be hungry for dinner michelle sure can you change the now. glass factory to refinery it's more helpful for us can you change that thing i don't know do what what was the question michelle can you change the glass very glass factory cade to refinery, it's more helpful for us. Customer? Oh, the oh the card for the ghost card for next week. Okay, yeah. No, it's far too late to change that now. But I mean, we can certainly do a refinery one in the future. 
I think we've got the next two of them already planned out, so it'll be at least two months from now, but we can definitely do that. We work pretty far in the future. <laughs> Alright, we got this other foundry built. Should be able to make bracelets now. Need to stop selling jump rings. What are we missing still? Nothing. We're not missing anything, but it's not very well balanced because I just powered through it really fast. Did we get to the bracelets? Did we make it? We have everything we need to make them. And what is the card that they get this week? This week what for the event that just started does not have one. It's next week though. I'm pretty sure. I will make sure that I know by Friday's town hall, but I'm almost positive that there is one next week. Everything stopped. Where did all the workers go? Oh, we ran out of money, look. Oh, wow. Oh no, what happened? I wasn't paying attention because everything was moving so fast. We'll sell some silver. <laughs> Maybe. This is why speeding up is not always good. <laughs> it's so hard to play when it's so fast. We're going to have to sell a building sell some of these forges. It got us one minute of playtime, which is like five <laughs> seconds in here. They just went out and immediately went back in. Ah, we could just get the truck to sell. Let's get rid of these. This will give us more time. There we go. Nice. Oh, we saw something else really fast. So hard to play on fast mode. You almost need to sell another building and then quickly sell, so. There you go. Yeah, that'll uh, be gone in a heartbeat, though, with it moving yeah. so fast. Where are oh, we no, deserve no, 7,000. <laughs> Now we're like racing against the speed. Know if we're gonna make it to a bracelet, nope. it's gonna be tough. We ran out, and that is why the game is the speed that it is. These things will go bad real fast when the game is fast. 
we go. Are we finally flowing again? Looks like it. Sell silver. We're so close. So close. Let's not run out of money again. Almost made the bracelet. How long does this competition go for? Just a week, right? Week Three week. days. They're only 72 hours now. What? Again. When did yep, they we do a, We do a vote every quarter and let the community decide how long they want them to last for. So right now they're 72 hour competitions. They start on Tuesdays at noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, and run until Friday at the same time, 9 Pacific. And does that change every week or just quarter? You said, sorry, nope. you said quarterly, right? Right. We take a survey every quarter, but it's never once changed. It's been the exact same for as long as I've been playing, so like three years. I think that there are just so many people who are used to it at this point and have like adjusted their work-life schedules. So it just, it stays the same. Everybody keeps voting it the same way. The, this quarterly survey is exactly the same. Everybody picked Tuesday at the same time. It's like, I'm sorry, I can't start work right now. I need to start my competition. Exactly. On, Tuesday, on Tuesdays, I don't work. I, I, common ground world. Oh, I forgot it was slow. So did you ever make it to the leaderboards when you used to compete? Oh, yeah. Not just the leaderboards, but like top 100? Yep. I think the highest I ever made it was like in the 30s during uniforms there when we did uniforms for six months straight. Oh my god, uniforms was so long ago. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Everybody just keeps going to sleep. We ran out of money again. Look at your wages. It's way too much to sustain. I know, it's right insane. Now. And it's so unbalanced because I built it so fast and didn't really pay attention. Once again, don't use this as your competition and build next week, guys. This is not a good build. You will run out of money. <laughs> Can you tell us about the next sale? Um oh. Yeah, Friday's NFT sale. Yeah. That's... Tune in to the town hall. Michelle will tell you all about it. <laughs> yeah, it'll also be in Leaky Wednesday tomorrow, so you'll see it right in the Discord. She cannot leak too much today. She's already showing you the build. That's not a good build. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> We're not going to make it to bracelets for around the time because I don't have any silica because I forgot about it. Oh, no. <laughs> And we don't have any money left. Well, we Why tried. Aren't, Why aren't you just doing a gold rush? I did silver that. rush at the beginning. We did silver rush on high speed for about 15 minutes before we tried to build this build as fast as humanly possible, which works out pretty well until about five minutes ago. Well. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for showing us the ropes of how to build a bracelet, even though we didn't make it. <laughs> we got super close though. Thanks for watching everybody. 
want to hit that like and subscribe. Thank you, Michelle. Show her some love. You can join us on galagames.chat, join our Discord. Everything is in the description below. And I'm just going to say bye for now. Thanks, guys.